Greetings and welcome to my video. I'm in the process of building a puzzle tower place thing. Yeah, puzzles. And I want a combination lock, but most of the combination locks I've seen before use switches and you have to reset a switch. And I wanted something that someone could come in and then if they left halfway through or got disconnected, it could reset itself. So I made this. And it's a four digit combination lock that will accept only the correct four digits in the correct order. And I'll just give you a quick look at the circuitry. It's messy, but it's not as complicated as it looks. So that's the circuitry and it's in sections. And each section controls one number for your code. So as you enter in a number, triggers this goes to the next section you enter the second number then it goes to the third section you enter the third number and the fourth and how it works is you hook up obviously I've, I've hooked up this button which is zero to this one over here on the side because I couldn't get one below but this is basically just a double adapter so it's powered by that inverter over there the signal comes in the top signal is for your door and the side signal goes to this inverter which powers this and triggers this forever on switch and once it does that it then powers itself and stops power flowing backwards that then triggers this end gate and allows power to flow to the next section which powers the inverter and powers up all the gates so that you can enter the second number and then obviously it repeats the process of triggering the gates and on we go and so on and so forth and then you have your door code this is the door code so you need one of these for each door you want to open and it works in much the same way you connect the top one to the one you want to and i've just noticed i disconnected one so i'll just connect it up now so i want this one here the first code each one of these is the first digit we connect that and I want that to be number one. Number one is here. So I connect that to the top of this one. And now that first input is number one. And so as each one triggers, it triggers the AND gate, which flows up here, sends the power to this, which triggers this forever on, stops the power flowing backwards, and then we'll turn the light box on, or open the door, or do what you want to do with that signal. And then once it gets to the end, the final end gate sends a signal back up to this inverter, which stops the power flowing, turns everything off. Of course, the power stops flowing, so then the power starts flowing again, and everything comes back to life. And that also sends a signal to this inverter, which resets this code. So it sounds, like I said, it sounds more confusing than it is. But really you just need 10 of those and those things on the sides and then four of those for your code plug to the door so i'll just give you an example of how it works i've set the first code up to 1000 so 1000 so we just enter one and then a zero and then a zero and then a zero and we have our lights and everything's reset and it's good to go again it's very quick and um, so you can set this up to reset on a proximity sensor or a pressure plate I'm gonna have a proximity sensor so once someone leaves it will then turn off and when someone comes back in it will turn back on and be ready for the next code and I'll just show you the wrong code so if I enter zero the first one was one, but because it didn't get a one, it didn't light up, which of course means even if I enter a one now, it still won't work. And then we'll enter a zero and a zero. And because it did work on the last two, they light up, but then immediately get reset. So that's the basics of how my combination door works. So once you've entered one code, the door opens, and then you can go back and enter a second code and open a second door. Or you could wire it so once you enter the first digit of a second code, 
the first door will shut. But you need to add a little bit of extra wiring in to do that. So, yeah, if anyone has any questions or comments or anything you want to ask about how all this works, or want some more details of the circuits, let me know. Um, my thanks to the gamer in me. I watched a video of his where he made a door with buttons. And it gave me the idea for that little circuit there, which I like. I think I may have seen that one somewhere else too. But I've watched a, watched a lot of YouTube videos, and I can't remember all of them. So thank you to all of you who have been creating videos. They're very helpful. And I hope you have fun, and enjoy your exploration. Thanks for watching.